Welcome to Physics Learning Point. In previous class, we have discussed the myopia and its correction. And in this video, we will discuss that problem of hypermetropia and its correction and focal length of the lens, which is used to correct hypermetropia. Then first, what is hypermetropia? So the person can see the distant objects clearly, but he cannot see the nearer objects clearly. Okay, the person who is having the problem of the defect of myopia, he can see all the objects at long distance clearly, but he cannot see clearly the nearer objects. This is the defect of hypermetropia. Hypermetropia also said to be far sightedness because we can see only the distant objects, but we cannot see the close objects clearly. That's why hypermetropia also said to be far sightedness. Then what is the reason for this hypermetropia? So we know that the minimum focal length of eye lens is the minimum focal length of eye lens is 2.27 centimeters whenever we we are observing the closer objects say the object is at least distant of distinct vision our eye lens has the minimum focal length that is 2.27 centimeters the minimum focal length of the persons who has hypermetropia is greater than 2.27 centimeters. Due to this, if the person observes the closed objects, then the image is formed outside the retina because of having the minimum focal length greater than 2.27 centimeters. For example, here is our eye and this is eye lens and principal axis least distance of distinct vision. Say this is the point H, a object is here. Here the object, the light rays are instanting on eye lens and because of having greater than the focal length minimum focal length greater than 2.27 after refraction these light rays are converged at outside retina due to this the person cannot see the closer objects clearly okay but the all the objects outside this point h point the point h the person can see the objects clearly because the images are formed on the retina by this eye lens then he can observe the images clearly up to this point up to this minimum point h the person can see all the images of objects clearly and after that closer than closer than this point from here to here least distance of distinct vision the person cannot see the objects clearly okay and this point is said to be near point so this point is said to be near point up to this near point the person can see all the objects clearly and more near than this point more say between from L to H the images are formed outside retina so the images are unclear that blurred okay up to this near point the person can see all the objects clearly then how can we correct this problem to correct this problem of hypermetropia we need to use a lens which brings the image of objects outside h okay the object is kept bit in between 
H and L and the image of that object should be taken outside H at least on H or outside H. The image acts like a object for our eye lens and then it can form the image on retina. Then we can see that object clearly. Then what lens is used to cure or correct this problem? So here we are using a biconvex lens to correct the problem of hypermetropia. Then how it corrects? For example, the light rays which are coming from least distance of distinct vision, then after refraction, these light rays are converged of outside the retina. So here, because the minimum focal length of eye lens is greater than greater than 2.27. So the image is formed outside. Due to this, we can't see the object, the image of that object clearly. So then if we keep a convex lens, then what happens in this part? So here, when you keep the convex lens in the path of light rays, which are coming from least distance of distinct vision, we know that this is the original path of light rays if there is no the convex lens here. So if you keep this convex lens, we know that convex lens converges the light rays. So this is the original path of light ray. But when you keep the convex lens in the path of light rays, these light rays are converged. Okay, the light rays are converged by lens. Then our eye feels that these light rays are coming from outside H or H. So these, this is the Im image of the object at least distant of distinct vision formed by the convex lens. So this our light ray, now this image of the object, the image formed by this convex lens acts like a object for our eye lens. Then this light rays converges on the retina. In this way, the image is formed on retina. So in this way, by using biconvex lens, we correct the hypermetropia. Then what is the focal length of biconvex lens, which is used to cure correct hypermetropia? So let us say, so the object is at least distance of L. We know that distance of object if we place on L, it is 25 centimeters. And here this value is negative, minus 25, opposite to instant light ray. So then the image of the object should be formed on H or outside H, at least on H. Say this is the distance D for this lens. So the image distance and this image acts like an object for our eye lens. The image distance is minus D centimeters. From the lens formula 1 by V minus 1 by U. Substituting. So 1 by V. So minus D. And minus of minus plus. 1 by 25. This is the focal length. Then LCM 1 by F equal to 25 into D. So D into 25, 25 into D, D 25 ones are 25. So minus 25 and 25 Ds are 25 into 3. So here we will get D then here f is inverting the e equation 25 into d and d minus 25 d minus 25 here we know that the distance of the near point this is the near point the minimum distance our eye can see 
from our i okay that is d so d is greater than that 25 centimeters it is greater than 25 centimeters so here we will get the focal length positive value because d is greater if d is lesser value then we will get negative value but here the near point is greater than 25 centimeters so total value of focal length of this eye lens we will get this is the focal length of the convex lens which we use to cure the hypermetropia and this focal length we get positive value so we are getting the positive value the focal length positive value that is nothing but that by convex lens convex lens always having its focal length positive because this is the incident light ray this is the curve having focal length opposite side so the focal length is measured in the direction of incident light ray so we have to remember the always the focal length of convex lens is positive and the concave lens that focal length always negative this is about hypermetropia and correction and focal length of focal length of the lens convex lens which is used to correct the hypermetropia so in next class we will discuss the power of lens thank you